So the typical adverse events that we see with nivolumab is fatigue, which is very nonspecific, uh, skin rash, uh, diarrhea, um, endocrinopathies, thyroid uh, disorders are a common uh, disorder. These are very different than what we're used to dealing with with most cytotoxic a a agents. But you know, as I pointed out, very most of them are grade one and two. Very few of them are grade three or four. And so I think oncologists need to be aware of the different toxicity profile. They, re they really need to know how to, how to manage them in case they do see a patient with uh, grade three or four to toxicity because it's, it's a different paradigm compared to what we've been used to in oncology. So. Uh, I, I think it was around 2000, so 15 years ago when docetaxel was approved as the first second line agent and docetaxel was compared to best supportive care where it improved survival. So it's been a standard for over a decade uh, in uh, the second line setting in advanced non-small, so whether you're squamous or whether you're non-squamous. The um, significance of this trial is that this finally shows another monotherapy like nivolumab that is actually better with regard to survival response toxicity profile um, and, and I think a subset that enjoys a much longer progression-free survival advantage um, although uh, I, trying to pick those out and who those people are will be an area of active research. So I really do think it, this is a paradigm changing uh, trial and a paradigm changing both in non-squamous as well as squamous.